And the Philippines have got it going on with this stuff. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you there. Welcome to the Pink Hostel in Manila. Welcome down. We have found a little pocket of Miami in the Philippines. Part of showing you guys all the cool companies and things that we want to explore here in the Philippines. In Manila, we are gearing up for a grand adventure, but we're chilling out in the city right now in one of the coolest hostels I've been to in a while. The theme of this hostel is being pink, and it's kind of like a play on the whole Miami thing. The owner of this hostel is actually from Miami. So we're gonna give you guys a tour of the place we're staying at, and then we're gonna head off and do some fun stuff here in the evening in Manila. So this hostel is set up in a very interesting manner. It's kind of like at the top of a building, and then there's more floors going up. It's cool, let me show you guys our room. Let's go. So once again, the theme of this hostel is pink, so you got a beautiful pink door. I have the letter B, which stands for boys, because this is a cool boys room. Ladies and gentlemen, what else do you need more than pink beds? I don't need anything. Maybe a sandwich. I'm cool with a pink bed. We got a bathroom. Uh, we'll come down to the toilet, how you say? We have a shower, a toilet. Two things to mention. If you come here, read all of the signs in the bathroom, because they're super entertaining, especially when you're doing a number two, and ask them for the Wi-Fi password. It's one of the best things I've heard in a while. So up on this top terrace, we have Kind of access to a bunch of rooms with little balconies as well. Um, we're gonna take the stairs down to the main area of the hostel, the entrance, which is the coolest part of it. So let's go there. So this is the entrance to the wonderful hostel. You take an elevator on up from downstairs. If you follow me out here, like many hostels, we have a beautiful reception with some beautiful employees working as well. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Yeah, we come on in here. We got our kitchen. We got a fully working kitchen. We got some burners. We got a free breakfast, which is a good beginning to the day here in Manila. We have a sort of outdoor kitchen where you can get your boiled water, whatever you need. And we have a beautiful, beautiful pool and deck area where you can come chill out and just check this out. Miami or Miami? Am I right? You got a pool table. You got a pool itself. What else do you need? And pink lights, have I mentioned? And that's that's your hostel tour of the Pink Manila Hostel. And now we're gonna go head out and do some stuff here in the area uh, and show you what there is to do in the surrounding area to the hostel. So let's let's get it move on, oh boy. You can keep playing it. See you later. Oh yeah. Enjoy. Thanks. So a bunch of us from the hostel are getting together right now, and we are about to go hang out in Rizal Park. Rizal Park is a huge park here in the middle of Manila. Uh, apparently there's a waterworks show that goes on there during the day. So I'm about to go meet up everybody that's coming out with us. And we're going to go have a hangout session. And the elevator is stuck. That's fun. All right. Let's see if we can pry it open. Stuck in the elevator, hour number four. We are still sitting. I don't know what floor I'm on anymore. This is just flashing. I've hit the alarm twice now. Nobody has come save me. This isn't fun. Hello? I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh, we're moving. We're going up again. Okay, that was really creepy. Oh, geez. I'm taking the stairs. I'm taking the stairs. All right, so we're about to take our first train ride here in the Philippines. This is the little ticket booth and train station over there. Wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Holy crap, that was insane. Look how many people are packed in there. That's insanity. Alright, the wonderful park we have entered. We're now going to be searching for this cool little waterworks show. This is a little tidbit to show you guys like maybe what life is like here in the city, what locals come and do.
check out this crazy show. This show is incredible. This is a really cool place. This park is filled with locals. Just everybody's kind of chilling out with their families and stuff. Really awesome show to come see. So the next thing that we're doing is something we wanted to do since we arrived in the Philippines. They have a means of transportation here called jeepneys, which are like these old cars. They run in manual. They're just kind of like old clunky cars. They have sometimes a transformer symbol on them, sometimes a BMW, sometimes a Volkswagen. There's no consistency really. But you hop in one, like that. Can we fit in here? Gosh darn, last night ended with a bang. Did you see those freaking fountains? They were sick. We are now going to head off to a place called Intramuros. We're in the hostel right now. We're gonna catch a jeepney. We're gonna go there and tell you guys all about the history of the Philippines and the Filipino people. Ah, what a view to wake up to. All right, we're hopping in a jeepney. Wow, we got this one to ourselves. This is the way to do it in Manila. It's the cheapest way. This is, you can't see it. Oh boy. It's a hot one in Manila today. All right, those those things are freaking awesome. They're they're the best. We are now back in uh, the area of Rizal Park where we were last night. So the area of Manila we're in right now is called Intramuros, which is like the old Spanish colony area. It's the oldest district in all of Manila. There's a lot of ancient buildings here from when the Spanish used to rule and when they had their colonies here. There's an ancient cathedral in Intramuros, and this is kind of where we can get an idea of the legacy of the Filipino people. The actual meaning of the word Intramuros is like walled city in Spanish. Kind of what we're walking on right now, we're kind of walking on this little fort wall right now that's going all the way down, cutting through the city. We have a cool cathedral to visit as well. Ancient cannon set up here. Very Spanish in design. Very similar, a lot of places have been around the world that have had Spanish colonies before, like Puerto Rico or different island nations like that that have been either invaded or run by the Spanish. You see a very classic design like this. Most forts look very similar. Part of this awesome tour that we're doing here in Intramuros is the Cathedral of Manila. It is an amazing structure right here that we're looking at. Very ancient, it looks super, super old. We're gonna head on into the plaza of it and kind of explore the area, it'll be cool. So this cathedral is called the Manila Cathedral or the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. It was made to honor the Mother Mary or the Virgin Mary. It is the mother of all churches in this country. It's supposed to be the biggest and most fabulous church in, in the Philippines. The cathedral was built in 1581, so it's super, super old. You can tell that this, this cathedral is very important to a lot of people here. So we've definitely built up a little bit of a hunger. Come down back to this main street that had a bunch of food on the side. We saw a little burger stand that looked cheap and pretty delicious. So we're gonna try to get some burgers now. We were sitting down to eat and there was two uh, people there in the restaurant. And they essentially paid for our meal and then brought us here to the fort for free. Like exactly. give us a ride here. Strangers sat down, had a conversation with us, decided to pay for our entire meal and then drop us off here. So it was amazing. In Intramuros, we've come to a place called Fort Santiago. So what we're walking to right now is over a moat to actually enter the proper portion of Fort Santiago. Uh, this is kind of like a giant citadel built by the Spaniards. Those of you who might not know, the Philippines was actually occupied by a bunch of different armies and foreign national a bunch of times over in the history of this country. This fort was occupied by like four different armies at some point. The Japanese, the British, the Americans, and the Spanish all at some point sat here and occupied it until it was turned over I think in the 1950s. Also the Filipino hero Jose Rizal, the one that the park is named after, was actually imprisoned and then executed here on this premises by the Spaniards. And there's a bunch of different monuments here in, in the city itself named after him, as well as throughout the country. You'll see a bunch of different parks and cities and buildings named Rizal. We have just been served a delicious dish made here in the hostel. Oh boy, we got chicken adobo and chop suey. What another fantastic day exploring Manila. We are back in the pink Manila hostel. Make sure that you check them down in the description below. 
big thank you for hosting us here. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow when we film our Manila food video, which is gonna be super exciting. I'll see you tomorrow, I love you a long time. Your Tagalog word of the day is gonna be carne, which means meat. I'll see you then, goodbye.